Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party, Season 3. Um, it's been a long time, and look at this. This is, uh, this is where we're starting out this year, uh, this season, and it, it said it's been a long time. Pandemic really kind of threw things for a loop, but here we are, and this is the new space, and I did a live stream yesterday, uh, of, uh, getting started. So I'm going to sort of play highlights from that. I don't think I'll do the entire, uh, two hours, but if you want to watch me play live in the future, I'll probably be recording a lot of these videos, uh, basically doing live streams on the, uh, on Twitch. And so, uh, it's twitch.com or twitch.tv slash bang spot. I'll put a link to that in the description, uh, but you can do that there. And then uh, I'll record a little bit. Uh, it'll probably be a combination of uh, sort of focused videos and uh, live stream sort of highlights. But look at this. Look at this area. This is super cool. Um, this is uh, this. The spawn is just on the other side of that mountain right over there, just on the other side of the mountain. Uh, and then. Uh, there's this little lake down here surrounded by a ring of mountains. I uh, can't even see the whole thing because of the, how big they are. Uh, but then there's this little plateau here. There's lots of little, little caves inside the cliffs and underwater and down below, which is fitting for the caves and cliffs update. So, uh, let's go ahead and watch the, the stream highlights and then, uh, enjoy and then we will have episodes coming again soon thank you for watching this is theron and i'll see you after this Hello, everybody. Hello, bees. Hello, trees. Uh, we are live. This is Minecraft Land Party. Season 3, Episode 1. Whoa, world is still loading, so I'm a little bit laggy, but hello, welcome. Um, here we are. We have uh, we have a new world. Uh, world Seed is, I think, kind of interesting. Um, and we are not where we need to be. It is still early though. So let's get started. This is Minecraft day one. So let us get going. We need some wood and uh, saplings preferably and uh, a few other things, but let's make some tools and get going and see if we can find some food. Come on. Plop. Okay. And then it's been a long time since I've done day one Minecraft stuff, so I honestly don't remember how many logs we need in order to make a full set of uh, stuff. But let's, um, wait, no, no, we need a few sticks. Yeah, maybe, I don't know. Let's, let's grab that. And do this and I can put down the crafting table. Oops. Um right down there. So this is 1.18. Uh we are in uh this is a spigot server. Um and a uh, bloop. And but I'm running basically vanilla. Um no no real mods or anything. I've got a few um, miscellaneous uh, uh, data packs I put in that are basically like the Hermitcraft data packs. I've got a thing where the creepers, uh, not the creepers, but the uh, the Endermen don't grief the world because that's a really bad thing. Oh, more sticks. Um, and so we've got bees, which is exciting. Hello, Mr. Bee. I will not be bothering you, at least not yet. Um, beehives. Oh, that's nice. Okay, plenty of bees, which is awesome. And we got caves, because this is the caves and cliffs update. 
Uh, just updated the server to 1.18. Brand new world. I have played around with this seed a little bit just to make sure that it has what I'm looking for. And what I'm looking for is some neat terrain, a good mix of biomes, and um, stuff to play with. And I think this has all that, as you'll see shortly. Let's go. Lots of trees. Lots of birch trees. Oh, that could have been bad. Um, so I'm just wandering around this way to see what's over here because I don't know. Oh, there's lava. I've got a whole thing of lava. Hey, Wilson. How are you? I'm doing all right. I'm uh, starting up. It's getting dark already. Dang it. That's not good. That's actually really not good. So let's, uh, let's see before I hold myself up and, oh, look, a cow. That means food. Potentially. Yeah. Three steaks. Good. Um, I was hoping to get a little bit farther along before day set in. So, because I don't have anything, I don't have, uh, What's a Filza? I don't know what that question means. Okay. So I am... Okay, it's getting dark. This is going to be dangerous. So I'm going to do really what I should have. Oops. Um, I'm just going to dig in over here. It's going to be boring, but... I have to survive the first night. And let's uh, put down a block here to hopefully block off any real bad guys. And let's let's get some. Uh... Ah, sorry, no, I, I'm not familiar with uh, Filza, so I, I I don't do a lot of streaming. I'm. I am a, uh, I've been doing videos for quite a while, but I'm not, uh, I really haven't done a stream. But I've been trying to do more streaming lately. Um, and I am starting season three of my Minecraft Let's Play series. I'm sorry, right now you won't be able to see Diddly Squat. Um, yeah, I'll check them out. That'll be, uh, that'll be interesting. I will... Check that out. Okay, so I've got a crafting table here. I can make a furnace. One piece of cobblestone left over. Place down the furnace. I don't have any fuel for the furnace other than wood. Um, but I've got these and I can put in, eh, burn those. Give me some light temporarily so I can at least see when it's daylight, and then I can make some soap tools. Cool. Uh, I take it he streams here on Twitch. I will look him up. All right. Ah, I have three cooked steaks. I have some food. I have some experience now, too. Not a lot, but I have some experience. Cool. My little scoreboard commands worked. So I've got a death counter so we can see how many times everyone dies. And uh, let's see. Can I? How dumb is this for me to go stack some logs? Probably pretty dumb, but let's do it anyway. Ear out for signs of footsteps. Put a hole and put down block. Okay, so I've got some logs here, so I can burn some more planks and I can make uh, some charcoal. So at least then I can make a torch or two. So I've got sticks, and I can make some stone tools, which will last longer than these wooden ones. And 
yeah, okay. And then I've got, uh, let's make pickaxe. Blop, and then make that. Whoops. Make an axe. Plop. And make a, let's make a sword. Plop. All as backups for when these things die. Oops. Cooperate. And that wooden pickaxe is going to die real soon. So I don't see any beasties out there yet, but they will be coming. Oops. Charcoal. And I've got sticks so I can make torches. Nice. Okay. So. At least I'm not going to be all alone in the dark while we're waiting for the sun to come up so we can continue. Yes, I, I'm, I'm definitely older than streamers. Uh, old man, I will, I will check out. Ah, there's my thing. Yeah, I've been doing this. I've been doing this a while. I've been playing video games for a long time. Um, I don't think of myself as being old, but I'm definitely older than most of the people on Twitch, I think. All right. So this seed is basically a big ring of mountains around a lake in the middle. Oh, look. Village. Oh, that's this, is, this could be good. Um, Hilltop Village. Oh, cool. Let's see what they got here. Hello. Don't mind me. Oh, potatoes. Excellent. Uh, oak sapling, bread. Oh, hi. Um, don't mind me. I'm going to take your bed. Sorry. Hope you don't mind. I'm sure you do, but... Whoa, that, that seems a little dangerous. But I see some copper down there. Oh. Okay. Hi, Mr. Villager. I want to keep these guys a little protected because it would be nice. I don't need that bed to be able to come back here since it's close to where I'm planned to be. And there's a, they have an iron golem to help protect them. That's good. Baby Villager. Hi. Uh, nothing up there. A nice loft. Okay. Hi, Mr. Iron Golem. Oh, look, we got pigs. Kitty cat. Um, let's see how do I get up there safely? Oh, I'm going to have to do some of this. So hoping to end up with some crops. I do have this potatoes. Oh, I've got a farmer here, so... Let's see, that means there must be a farm. More apples, uh, more potatoes, some bread. It's better than nothing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I'm just, I'm gonna, yeah, you'll, you'll, you'll sell me uh, marbles for beds, okay. Ah. Oh, okay. Hay bales, that's good. Composter. I'm going to steal your composter. What are these? Are these... These are wheat. Carrot, carrots. Never mind. I just want one carrot. Thank you. Because I can make more. I should steal those hay bales. Because that is potentially a lot of bread right there. Um, and... Let's see what's in here. Okay, more hay bales. Oh, oh duplex. <gasps> Bookshelves, lectern. Hi. I like how you have two doors. That's a really, uh, that's an interesting layout. Oh, you have a balcony. Not very safe on this end, though. Huh. Um, pardon me while I take your lectern. Should I take some books? I can come back for the books. Pigs. Okay. Uh, did I get this one already? Uh, 
Yeah, just the little house. Oh, this is neat. Little stalls. And, oh, it just keeps on going. Let's go over there. There's a bell down there. Huh. Let's see. This one's got a lot of torches on the outside. And leaves on the inside. That's that's a little weird, I think. Um, oh, I came from up there, so. Hi, how are you? Okay, let's get going back up to where we were heading. I have stuff to get us started. I have a bed, so we can sleep through the night. We don't have to dig a hole and hide for too long. And let's see. Do I play a lot of games? Um, no, I mostly play Minecraft. Oh, hey, doggies. I don't have any bones. Um, I used to play a lot of different games. I used to work in the game industry. Okay, so this... Okay, this gets dangerous because this could be powdered snow, which gets dangerous. Oops. Um, oops. And I didn't, I haven't killed enough cows to get leather, to make boots. Um, whoops. Okay, at the summit, I think. Oh, yes, here we go. So if we get over here, hopefully we see where we are. Oh, wow. Cave. Stay away from the caves for the moment. Oh, I see a pumpkin. Let's go get the pumpkin. Ow. And let's see. So this. Uh, let me get safe and then I can turn on my render distance and we can take a look. Tommy in it. That, act, that name sounds familiar too. Um, yeah, it's kind of mid-afternoon here. I'm in Los Angeles. I'm on the West Coast. Oh. Okay. Sugar cane. That's useful. Midnight. So, it's, okay. So, are you, so, you're in Europe or... Somewhere. It's starting to get dark again. It is. Let's see if I can get up to the top up here before it gets too dark. Um, oops. Okay, you know what? I have a bed. Let's use it. Put the bed down right here and sleep. Oh, Dutch, okay. All right, let's keep going up. Yeah, I, as I said, I used to work in video game development, and the, one of the, the first company that I worked for doing video games was actually Philips. So I'm uh, used to having phone conversations with uh, people in that sort of time zone. Oh, it's a neat little plane. Is this... Ah. Oh, this is interesting. Okay, this is where I was heading. So, 
Let's turn on my render distance here because it is really low right now. Render distance, 12 chucks. Let's go up to like 24 temporarily, or 20. Done, done. Back to game. Wow, this fog is just crazy. It's distance fog. Huh. I don't need this. I don't need to up the simulation distance. I need them to just up the render distance. Okay. Well. Okay. So this is. I have a screenshot of it from my test server. Um, options, video settings. If I, if I up this to match. Yeah, that's not really helping. All that does is up the distance at which it does uh, mobs and stuff. Yeah, I'm still getting the fog. I know that's one of the changes that they plan for 1.18.2 is to part of the problem is the fog's fog is calculated as a sphere. Um, when it they want it is supposed to be calculated as a cylinder. So you lose distance looking down, and we're high. We're pretty high up right now. We're at uh, 111. It's not super high, but. Um, Okay. Well, so this is where we plan, where I plan to start. Uh, we have a nice little little plateau here, um, and so this is where you can put together some stuff and have a little community area, and then where I wanted to set up initially was right in here. So let's. Uh, I don't have a shovel. And some of this is powdered snow, I think, so I have to be a little careful. Yeah, so I've got powdered snow down here. And we can put down, I've got dirt, so I can put down dirt instead. And I can dig a little hole here and set up my bed. So I have a little home base to start at least. I, yeah, I'm I'm on a Mac, so Opt Optifine isn't really an option. I would love to be able to run Optifine, but I just haven't, just can't get it to work. So, um, so if I ever decide to upgrade and get a dedicated gaming PC, then I I could totally do that. But it's not really. Um, let's see. Do I want the doorway here? Or the snow. Let's leave the door right here. So I'm just going to dig a little cave in the in the wall here. So I have a whoops. Get out of the powered snow. So I have a little safety spot, and then I can start uh, working out some storage. I can plant some trees and start a little farm and figure out what time it is. <clears throat> and oh, I dug a little too far there. Part of the problem of being in essentially a big valley like I am here, it's difficult to tell where this. Oh, the sun's right overhead, so it's noon. So I've got plenty of time here. Let's go plant some stuff. And I'll probably level all this. And I don't necessarily want the seeds, but uh, away for now. And uh, just need a little space here to start a wood farm. So there's plenty of trees around, but um, I have these 
four spruce saplings. So we can just go plop them here. Throw that spruce tree. And um, how much iron did I get there? Let's go cook up the iron so I can at least make a bucket so I can go get some water. There's my giant spruce tree. Kind of serves as a cheap, uh, cheap beacon at this point. Okay. Oh, water source, my infinite water source is right here. Ah. Aha, now I have all the water. I have literally all the water. Okay. All right, so let's get some farms going because I want to be able to eat. Let's see here. If I go... Torch here, I can then start to plant I can put water in here. And there. And then I can till up some of this stuff. Oops. Yeah. And oh. Yeah. Let's go grab my potatoes out of here. And I guess the carrot. Whoops. Pumpkin gets different treatment. All right. Potato. Oh, I got plenty of potatoes. Potato, 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 potato. Potato, 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 potato. Torch. And then uh, grab water. And make this an infinite source. Whoops. Ha! That was dumb. All right. Water. 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 Yeah. Uh, okay. And then plant potato, 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 potato. Water. And then we can dig. Lone carrot, I'll just stash in here for now. And let those grow. Excellent. Um, let's see here. I was trying to go to... Actually, I want a torch here. Torch here. And... Okay, those are too close together, but whatever, we'll I'll figure it out. The nice thing about the lighting in 1.18 is that I don't have to worry about mob spawning as much. And I kind of figured out if I place the torches on say on the chunk number of on, on the fives and tens. That gives you enough uh, light to uh, to keep anything from spawning. And obviously, there's a ton of spawning blocks up here, but that's uh, either here nor there. Okay, now well, let's get some more. Oh, interesting. Oh, am I going to have trouble with the water freezing here? Huh, I might, which means, oh, you know what? Those slabs that I made, I can use those. Hehe, <laughs> and just cover them. Oops. Um, where'd that slab go? There we go. Knock. Okay, 
Now they won't freeze. Very good. All right. Well, I still don't want to risk it uh, being out at night. So let's go back inside and sleep. Oh, perfect timing. Let's go make another axe. Wait for my little potatoes to grow. I have a little bit of food here. And I need to make a proper door here, but I don't need it to be a door necessarily. Coal. I got an idea. Let us go. Let's throw some of this into here and let's smelt a stack of charcoal. And then with my these logs, let's make, let's make some planks, oh, put those down, and then I want to make some trap doors. Yeah, and the trap doors are going to be in my doorway for the time being. It's because it kind of prevents things from getting in. And, okay, good. And charcoal will give me fuel for the furnace, and I can use the coal that I have to make torches. And get saplings to replant. How many saplings I give? Oh, I already have nine saplings. Awesome. Okay, so let's plant another, another tree here. Excellent. Those will decay. Okay, I think we're off to a good start. Ooh, this potato's starting to come in. And that should be reasonably safe in here. Let's make a couple more trapdoors. Um I have I have planks. And let's put the trap doors up here so none of the babies can get through. But I can, right? I can walk through there. No problem. Excellent. Okay, now I feel safe. Reasonably safe. Okay, so I want to make some more. Oops. Ah, oh, come on. There we go. I want to make some more pickaxes because I want to go mining and I don't want them to break and I need, I got sticks here. So let's make sticks out of these. So I have a bunch of sticks and Let's pull these and we'll make more torches. So I have a lot of torches. Okay. And then we'll, when the sun comes up, we'll go cut down that tree some more. Now, here's interesting problem. I want resources. I want to go mining. But they're surprising, like we're like in a really weird spot. I'm up too high to get a lot of resources up here. I know if I dig down at an angle down here, there's plenty of ground here all the way down towards the lake in the center. So let's try doing that and see if we can get a functional mine started. I don't have armor. <laughs> I barely have tools. So this is this is a little frightening. If I run into a mob filled cave, I'm in a bit of trouble. So I wanna be a little careful. So let's uh But it would be very nice to find a source of iron. And uh diamond, of course. I get started with the whole diamonds and everything. I don't know why I'm digging my staircase too wide. It's kind of dumb. So it's 
twice as hard on the pick. And it's nighttime. Okay, so we will stop that nonsense. It'd be nice to not be bonking my head on the way up. So I should, as soon as I can, put in some stairs and try to keep this reasonably well lit without blowing through all my torches. See how far we get here. Oh, you know what? That's that's actually kind of dumb. I only have wait. No, I have, I have a stone sword. Okay. I should probably switch to the stone sword in the case I do come across any mobs. It'll be much more effective than a wooden sword. But oh look, I found some coal. See how big of a vein of coal this is. Doesn't look super huge, but you never know. That could be a little big. Oh, and some copper. Now, can I, I can I mine copper with stone? I think so. We will find out. Oh, all this coal is good. Uh, copper. Yes, excellent. Not that I have a strong need for copper at the moment, but. Okay, and then, oh, let's put these over here. Oops. Yeah. And that's why I made multiple pickaxes. Because these are not going to last long at all, are they? But I have a good amount of coal now. Oh, if you call 19 a good amount. I like filling in my holes. It's a little weird, but I don't like leaving big gaping holes along the side of my mines. Mostly because I don't want stuff spawning in it, but less of an issue now than it used to be. I'm actually, given how many caves this uh, version of the game likes to spawn, I am really surprised. I have not run into a cave, even one of the little like tiny noodle caves. But there's still a lot of world below me. Oh, I found water. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Oh. Huh, interesting. Oh, aquifer cave. Okay. Not quite sure what to do about that. Okay, so this water is at, what? what's my level? What's my Y level here? 29. Let's take a peek here. That looks like it could be a pretty substantial cave. Um, which might be worth exploring. But I also think I want to just keep continue digging down. So we'll do this. Oh, no, that's 
that's not source blocks. Um, let's see here. Right, and this, and okay. Hold your breath. I'm still sourcing up here. Source water up here. Okay. So now we can go like this, put a torch there. Oh, more coal. Excellent. And we are below the water. I think I can remember that there's water there, but I wonder if we should make a put a sign or something. Cause that might be worth exploring at a later point. Of course, if I dig far enough this way, I may just run back into the water, so it doesn't entirely matter. There's more of it. A lot more. When I get in the water particles, so I'm, I'm definitely below whatever little water table there was there. Okay. Okay, good. So now I've got 18 more coal. Let's keep going. And see if we can get down to where the good stuff is or find a cave that we can start to explore. But I would like to find some iron before I do that because our armor would be very helpful. Ooh, okay. This is super exciting, isn't it? Oh, look! That is Deep Slate. So I am at Y8. Okay, very exciting. So now we're getting down into the good stuff. The Deep Slate is kind of a nice looking block, so I might use it in my my little hidey hole up up at the top. I am getting some. Yeah, I'm getting some cobbled deep slate. And we're back down into granite. Oh, oh look. Okay, place a torch. It's a torch. We have a geode. Okay, that's a... Uh, and, and a cave. All right. Well, let's see if I can explore a little bit without getting myself killed. Oh, iron and... Oh, good, 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 good. Do this quickly. I don't want to, in case there's mobs nearby, I don't want to. Oh, it looks like we're protected. Nice. My first geode. Oh, it's pretty. And it makes music when you walk over it. Okay, so these blocks here, can I... Oh, 
I got my first uh, amethyst shard. Okay, so I can get these with stone. Oh, I did not want to do that. So I broke the the block that budded it. Which I did not want to do because I want to be able to get more. Am I breaking some of these? Oh, they have to be mature. Okay. Let them grow. Cool. So now I also noticed there was some uh, there's some ores here. So let's uh glad this is uh, kind of protected. Okay, so this is deep slate iron. Or, right? Cobble deep slate. Wait. Smooth basalt. Oh, yeah, raw iron. So it just drops raw iron. That's uh, interesting. Not too horrible, but interesting. So now I have seven iron. Oh, it's not a lot. But I can get some more copper here. Or whatever good that does me at this point. Oh, I can make a spyglass, right? The spyglass is amethyst shards and iron uh, iron or cobble uh, copper. Cobble. Eight amethyst shards and seven raw, and uh, got some raw copper. Okay, well, let's uh, that's I think this is a good oops, I would get back up there just like this. I'm gonna head back up. Wait, what level are we at here? We're at minus three, we're below zero. So this is where stuff starts to get interesting. So my, my thing comes down here. Is that going to run into, like, if I try to, I don't want to break any of those budding. But if I don't have to divert around, Uh, if I don't have to divert around the geode, I'd prefer not to. Okay. Okay, now we're down into deep slate. Oh, is that gold? Okay. How much iron do I have? I have seven iron. I don't super need gold yet, but I prefer not to destroy it and waste it. So, spyglass, two pieces of copper and one amethyst shard. Aha. Okay, I shouldn't have said that, but okay, let's see here. That's pretty cool. Let's see if this helps with the distance view at all. Nope, not at all. Oh, no, I have iron here. So let's go and make um, plant logs, or planks. No, I do not. Okay, it's fine. Boop, boop. Make sticks, sticks. Make, oops. And make an iron pickaxe. Because I need that for the gold. And then, huh. 
should I make boots? It's better than no protection. And hopefully I get more, um, more iron soon. Okay, so that's some protection. Okay, let's go back down and see if we can, let's get that gold and see if we can get some more iron. See how far down we can take this. See if we can go to lava level and then start to uh, strip mining or it's not really strip mining. You know what I mean? Stop me in my tracks. I got some gold. Okay. Recobble this. Raw gold. And I think I want to do that. Yeah. Okay, I hear lava. Sounds like it's coming to my right, from my right. So I have to be a little careful here. I'm down at minus 35. So we're starting to get down into good territory for mining. I have to figure out where the lava table is now because they moved it. Oh, I think I see some iron. Yes. Okay, let's get this iron. Hey, hopefully there's more of it behind here. Or is it just a single block of iron? Oh, there's more. Glad I dug in a little bit. That's only two more, but that's better than nothing. So that gives me three more iron. I'm going to dig more just in case it continues. Nope, okay. So... go. Can't even see where it was. Oh shoot. Run away, run away, run away, run away. So we ran into some infested um I far enough away from these guys I can pause to eat. Ran into some infested uh, deep slate and the silverfish almost killed me. Okay, they don't appear to be following me closely behind. Now let's get healed up. I can go smelted. I can go throw this stuff in to be smelted while I heal. And hopefully the silverfish sheep will go back into stone or they or they despawn. And I should take some of this deep slate and make stairs out of that. I've got to figure out. Oh, stone cutter. I think you need iron for that. And I think a stone cutter would be Perfectly sensible for making the stairs for this. Okay, now, and I don't know if you can tell from the F3 screen anymore if a block is infected, infested, can you?
Um, I, I don't see it as a value, but... What is that? A deep slate, oh, just dark. Okay, so let's uh, take it easy. Okay, that could have been worse. I am at minus 56. This, oh, there's some iron right there. Okay. So this might actually be, this might be a good point to, oh. Uh, let's get this iron, because I could use the iron. Any more iron there? I don't see it. And I'm not super eager to be digging through this potentially infested deep slate. So, I'm at minus 58. Oh, I'm at the bottom of the world here. I'm gonna take it really easy, but I wanna see bedrock. Bedrock. Ooh. All right. Well, that's exciting. I got four more pieces of iron here. Um, okay, well, let's see. Let's go smelt the iron. See if I should make... Got three up there, seven I could make, I could make pants. Oh, let's figure out uh, what a uh, <clears throat> um, stone cutter looks like. And I could start replace, re replacing these blocks of stairs. And then figure out what level I want to start mining at. Since I have a way down to the bottom of the world. Okay, so I can now make a stone cutter, right? Loop. Stone cutter. And a stone cutter I will put right here. Oh, it looks dangerous. But I can't step on top of it. Okay. So now, this is cobbled the deep slate. Cobbled deep slate stairs. Oh, I can make deep slate brick stairs. Doesn't tell you how many you can make. Polished deep slate stairs. Sounds fancy. Deep slates tile, deep slate brick. Is that one for one? Cobbled the deep slate. Yeah, looks like one for one. Which isn't awful. I guess. Um, so if I do this, I can then put in these. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Nice. Okay, nice. 
Okay, this is task for right now. Spooky sound. Okay. So that's all the deep sight I had. Oh, the geodes right there. I don't know. Let's see if I can collect some more deep slate. Probably should take a break. Figure out my mining strategy and start collecting more of the deep slate stuff. Okay, so this here. Stuff have an age or a size? Amethyst cluster. Waterlogged false. Small amethyst bud. Ah, amethyst cluster. Okay. So now I've got I got this block that I dug out accidentally, but now so the, if you break these, you don't get anything, but the, the cluster you do. So it grows over time, not super fast. Okay. Good to know. So I've got block and another uh, four shards. Okay. Good. Okay. I've been going for a couple hours. So I think I'm going to call it a day and figure out some strategy stuff. And then next time we'll do some exploring because I haven't really done that yet. We found that one village. Um, I want to see what else is around. And I want to get these stairs all sorted out as well. But um and get some mining going, find some diamonds, start putting together some reasonable equipment and armor. Be nice to be able to deal with whatever comes our way. Ooh, there's the stairs. Yay. All right. Well, thank you for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.